everyone. I'm Megan O'Leavy, and here's what you need to know for your UFC Minute. In mixed martial arts, if you're not evolving, you're losing. So, in an effort to make sure he continued on the right path to the top of the lightweight division, this fighter announced this week that in order to keep building his skill set, he was packing his bags and leaving the gym where he got his start. That's it for today. Stay tuned for your next UFC Minute, and I'll see you at the fights. Coming up next, a UFC lightweight division battle. The underground king, Eddie Alvarez, MMA pioneer in a lot of respects. He was doing this before a lot of his contemporaries were, and it was a feel-good moment, I think, for a lot of people in this sport to see Eddie Alvarez realize a UFC lightweight championship when he knocked out Rafael Dos Anjos in Ju You know, we trot out the term well-rounded in modern-day mixed martial arts, maybe more than we should, but this guy fits the bill. Maybe doesn't stand out in any one area on film, but plus skills everywhere. And you gotta think tonight, Joe, with his skill set, he's more than comfortable really anywhere this fight goes. If he needs to stand and strike, he can do it. If the fight hits the canvas, he can submit you. A lot of different skills brought to the table by this young man. And now our tail of the tape for this lightweight scrap. Alvarez is 13 years the elder. He will have a two-inch reach advantage. And now with the official introductions, here is Bruce Buffett. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds in the UFC lightweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a boxer, holding a professional record of 35 wins, 12 losses, and one no contest. He stands five feet nine inches tall, weighing in at 155 pounds. Fighting out of Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, Eddie Alvarez. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner, a Muay Thai kickboxer and jiu-jitsu fighter, holding a professional record of 13 wins, no losses. He stands five feet six inches tall, weighing in at 155 pounds, fighting out of Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, the Warrior! And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Herb Dean. Herb Dean, our referee for this one. Ready to fight. Ready. And we are underway here live from Prudential Center in Newark, New Jersey. So here's the former UFC lightweight champion, Eddie Alvarez. Well-rounded guy, but most of his pro wins have come by way of knockout. And oftentimes, it's just the experience that ends up an advantage for the underground king. He's fought in Japan, Canada, Costa Rica, Russia. Yet another big opportunity in front of Eddie Alvarez tonight. Oh, that punch will count. Landed flush. All right, so here we go with round one, and it doesn't figure to take him long to start to establish his kicking game, Joe. He's got some of the most powerful kicks in this division, and he does not discriminate. He'll go to the body, he'll go up top. Let's see how the early portions of this one play. Oh, beautiful straight left hand. Back and forth we go. Nice punch by Alvarez. Oh, good sequence there. The right hand followed by the left. Strong bottom work here, staying busy. He transitions to the north-south. Trying for a submission now. From the north-south position to get the choke, what he wants to do is get his arm under the back of the neck. Once he's got the arm under the back of the neck, locking it in place, he needs to get his left hand and his right hand to go. Oh, escapes. Beautiful defense. Oh, and he gives up his Going back. for that patented rear naked choke now. Now he's got it. He opens it up, pulls him onto his back, goes palm to palm here, switches to the body triangle to tighten down on his opponent's abdomen, then switches to the full rear naked choke. And he's free of the choke. Tags him with the left. 
absolutely relentless when it comes to the ground and pound. Now working the body. Nice job by Alvarez. Guillotine attempt now. Looks as though he's got the neck. Less than a minute now to go in round one. Beautiful job. Fighters back to their feet here. And he switches wow. his stance yet again. To the end. Big right hand. Hard straight punch. Big shots. Oh. Now goes in and secures the takedown. Tries to pass from full guard to half guard, but can't. Now he moves to his back. Horn sounds for the end of round one. Hey, let's take a look here. And that's what started everything off, that beautiful jab. And here's another punch that sneaks through. And here's another perfectly placed punch. Big rounds. Listen, listen, listen. You ready to fight? You ready? Round two is underway. At the end of that round, his opponent was clearly hurt. He's going to look to start this round off. Oh, he's hurt. This could be it right here. Bam. Body kick, look at that. Knee to the body. Oh, straight right. Both guys landing big shots. Really throw. Oh. He is stumbling. And really starting to make these shots count. Tying up in the clinch here. Alvarez's lower jaw now starting to show signs of swelling. Busy in the clinch. Lands that punch. Oh, pretty good work here from the bottom, Joe. Nice he's, take me. Take me. he's got him right here. This fight is dangerously close to being stopped. Big straight punch. Just over three minutes to go in round two. He landed that punch flush. Nice takedown. Back to his feet, good sign for him there. Well, he was a little bit lackluster in round one. You can't say the same here in this second round. He has really picked up the pace, an uptick in the aggression and the output, and starting to find his range here in the pocket. How about that chin? Hard kick to the body land. We got to fight, folks. Sound defensively here as he stays upright. Double leg takedown, no good. Oh! Huge shot there, lands flush. Well, he absorbs a kick to the head here, left it wide open. He's got to not move into that power shot. Let's see if he can adjust. Look at that jab. Nice. Oh, a huge block there. Stuffs that takedown attempt. You'll need a better shot than that to get him down. Oh, he, oh, he might be out. Oh. Oh. He's in a lot of trouble. And now starting to snap off that jab. Big right hand lands. He tagged him again. He's hurt. Well, yeah, Joe, that fight was over as soon as that kick made contact. And with this particular striker, you are playing with poison if you don't get that guard up. You know these kicks are coming. You know they're coming in bunches. And that was a near-perfect land. Nailed the target. Full extension on the kick. And that's one of the better highlights we've seen here recently inside the octagon. Let's see that again. Right on the button. Well, what a moment for this fighter here tonight. A massive knockout on the sport's biggest stage. Seminal moment for that fighter tonight.
Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Deans called a stop to this contest at four minutes, 40 seconds of round number two. Declaring the winner by the Warrior. So just the way he drew it up here tonight, what a monumental moment and knockout to get his hand raised here tonight. He kept the judges out of it. He has certainly set himself up for a major opportunity here moving forward. But you can be sure tonight is about this knockout. He'll be celebrating deep into the night with his friends, his family, his coaches. Congratulations.